Hello, good afternoon. Thank you for joining the CFAM Bible study session. Let's go ahead and bow our heads in prayer. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for being our provider and protector. Thank you for giving us what we need to survive daily. Lord, I ask that you allow the word today to touch those in need of it. In your name, amen. Amen. Okay, today's lesson is on faith, hope, and love. Now we can go to 1 Corinthians 13, 13. What's your subtitle? Faith, hope, and love. Oh. First Peter two twenty four. Yes. First Peter two twenty four. First Peter two twenty four. on the tree that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed um, he bore my sins in his own body on the tree this is speaking of Jesus who died on the cross for our sins 
faith is witness to that and love witness is found in first John four nineteen. when I awake with thy likeness. This is hope witness. And faith sings in Galatians 2.20 
Now, before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, which were in the world, of them unto the end. And hope sings, kept by the power of God unto the salvation ready to be revealed in 1 Peter 1 5. but 
quickened by the Spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometimes were disobedient, when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a preparing with it, wherein few is eight souls were saved by water. The like figure whereon to even baptism doeth also now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience to toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who is gone into heaven and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. Four, first Peter four, four, as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have <coughs> wrought the will of the Gentile when we walk in less covetousness, lust, excess of wine, revealings, banquet, uh, banquetings, and abnormal and Dollar streets, ideology, sorry, wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you, who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead. For, for this cause, was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent terror among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. And these are the three graces, faith, love, and hope. And the greatest is faith with charity. And now uh, we're going to close out in prayer. Okay. Lord, thank you for your son. Thank you for allowing him to die in the cross of our sins. Thank you for the gift of charity that you have bestowed into each man. Lord, please uh, bring out the charity in everyone across the world. Lord, I ask that you touch the hearts that are in leadership of the world with charity. Oh, yes, 
In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Um, Last question. Go ahead, Cece. Uh, blessings in Christ, agape. Thank you. This is our Bible study session. What's your prophetess Broadway?